Governor Abbott says more businesses will be able to reopen at the end of the week. The current stay at home order expires Thursday. Hexan's Maggie Glynn reports on what phase one of the reopening plan looks like. Many have lost jobs. Others have lost businesses. Many are struggling to pay their bills. I want those Texans to know they are not alone in this fight. Governor Abbott will allow restaurants, movie theaters, stores and malls to open back up for business beginning Friday, but not everyone will be allowed in all at once. I am limiting occupancy to no more than 25%. The new executive order comes with a checklist of standards for businesses to operate safely. Those doctors also prescribed health guidelines for businesses, for employees, and for customers. Those protocols focus on minimizing the spread of COVID-19. That includes recommended hygiene practices and social distancing, but does not mandate masks. Opponents to the governor's reopening plan have repeatedly called for more COVID-19 testing. Getting up to 25,000 tests is something that should uh, occur early on in the May timetable that we're looking at. But the Texas House Democratic chair says the governor didn't present a clear plan on how the state will get those tests. Governor Abbott also introduced a new tracing program which involves testing widely isolating those who test positive, identifying everyone who has been in contact with that person, and asking those contacts to self-isolate for 14 days. The Department of State Health Services will run that program. During the next two weeks, they will add another 1,000 tracers. Maggie Glenn, KXAN News. And the governor said it's up to local governments to enforce the 25% capacity restriction. If health leaders don't notice a spike in cases within two weeks, then phase two begins May 18th. That allows those businesses to increase their on-site capacity to 50%. But in counties where there are five or fewer cases, businesses can increase their max occupancy to 50% right away. In Central Texas, that includes Gillespie, Limpasas, Lee, Llano, Mason, and San Saba counties.